You are standing in the Franklin County Crisis Care Center. It's a 72,000 square foot facility to serve individuals in crisis, either from a mental health or an addiction related disorder. It may be their first episode of crisis. It may be their 10th episode of crisis, but we want this to be the facility where people see as the place to come. Regardless of their insurance status, their ability to pay, the care here will be, you know, high quality, person driven, and very, uh, you know, informed by trauma and what people are experiencing in crisis. Um, like many communities around the, the country, mental health services have been underfunded. It has been an area where we needed more resources. And so what you had in Central Ohio was a lot of good people, a lot of good organizations, um, a lot of good institutions doing good work, but doing it in a patchwork to serve our residents. What we have today um, with this uh, crisis center and the future coming on, online is uh, partnerships coming together to make sure that access is no longer an issue. Uh, we will have 80 beds available per night to make sure that regardless of how you are engaging, uh, engaged in your crisis, be that through the city of Columbus and maybe one of our crisis intervention uh, operations uh, through Columbus Public Health or Columbus Police, or if you yourself know that you are in a uh, having an episode and know that you need care, you will be able to come to this location and know that you will be able to have get served uh, and be taken care of by uh, professionals. Um, that will be able to meet your needs and that is extremely special and very important to the city of Columbus. A little bit of a different approach. Uh, we have recovery supports on site, so things like peer support, family supports, right alongside of the treatment services as well as embedding some physical health care. So it's a one-stop place for someone to come and be treated uh, rather than having to make multiple stops. I think it's important now probably more than ever coming out of the pandemic. We see so much isolation and people, uh, we're still in the middle of an opiate epidemic and we're seeing fentanyl and xylazine, things like that. We're also seeing increasing suicide rates in certain demographics and populations.